What's up everybody, Camro here, and welcome to part 68 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how we can change experience rewards. First, what we're going to do is we're going to look into the basic way to do it by manipulating the PBS files to change how much experience different Pokemon give us. Then after that, we're going to look at the real way to do it by editing the scripts. What we're going to do is we're going to make a toggle. The first toggle will allow us to disable experience gain, and the second one will be a switch to boost experience gain. And then after that, we're going to get it set up working with a trainer battle and a wild Pokemon battle. With all of that said, let's get into it. So what I've got here is a wild Blissey, or rather a Blissey that we will fight in a wild battle, and it's only level 5. So let's beat it up now, and let's see how much experience a level 5 Blissey gives us. So let's boot up our game here. So, what's up Blissey? I would like to fight you. Let's see. This is going to be very scary. I'm going to activate my speed up switch. There we go. That's a lot faster. I'll just bite it. There we go. Blissey down. All right. We have just gained 151 experience points. That's pretty good for a level 5 Pokemon. So let's close our game now. And let's go and open up our game folder. And let's go into the PBS and open up Pokemon.txt. And I've actually already got Blissey all selected here. Blissey is Pokemon number 242. And you can scroll down here and see all of the defined stats, and you can see base experience is set to 608. That is a very high value. If you wanted to, you could manipulate that base experience, so instead it's 0 or 1. Like, let's set it to 0. Now, if we beat that Blissey, we won't get any experience at all. The message actually won't even pop up if we get 0 experience from a battle. So, let's run our game now. It's compiling the changes. Let's get back in there. And let's beat up this Blissey once more. Hey, Blissey, I'm back for round two. I'm sorry, this is going to be an episode of Blissey torture, so if you don't like watching a Blissey get repeatedly beat up, then this is not the episode for you. <laughs> anyway, the Blissey has fainted, and now we don't even get any experience. Look at that. Our Gyarados here has not gained any experience. Well, that's one way that you can do it, and um, it's not the best. So, I would like to do this with a script change. It would be a hassle to have to go and change all of the Pokemon in here to zero, right? And you would want them to sometimes give experience and sometimes not give experience, right? So let's go into our scripts now and see how we can do that. What I've got here in the PokeBattle underscore battle script, if you go all the way down to around line 1835, that's right, you gotta go down quite a ways. PokeBattle underscore battle is uh, a pretty big script. Anyway. Around here, this is where they define how much experience and how many EVs are granted when you defeat a wild Pokemon. So, what we could do is implement some sort of conditional branch here within the script that changes the base experience based on a switch within the game. So let's do that right now. Let's say if, then you want to do dollar sign game underscore switches, and then in brackets, Let's say switch 60. Let's say if that's true, then our base experience will actually be set to zero. So what we can do is actually copy this bit here, go down and paste it here. And then let's make if else, and then we could do end. There we go. So if game switch 60 is set to true, base experience is set to zero. Otherwise, it's set to the proper base experience. That's pretty simple, right? We could also do this for EVs if we wanted to. What we could do is make it so that way, if the game switch of 60 is set to true, then the EVs that we gain, we could make that zero as well. So let's go back into our Pokemon PBS, and let's see how many EVs Blissey gives us. Blissey gives us three health EVs. If you want to know how many, or like which EV stats are which, I'll link this in the description, but the first one, or the one in slot zero, is HP. Attack, defense, speed, special attack, special defense. Cool. So what we could do here is set it so that way if that switch is set to true, the EV yield will instead equal 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, a lot of zeros. And what you could do also is if you wanted to, you could make another switch so that way Pokemon grant like 20 special defense. You can mess around with this if you want. And that's pretty neat. Anyway, so if switch 60 is set to true in our game, the base experience that we get from a Pokemon will be zero, and the EV yield will be zero. Otherwise, it will use the base experience that's defined by that Pokemon and the EV yield defined by that Pokemon. 
So let's test that in our game now. What I've got here is a simple little tree event that just turns Switch 60 on if it's off and turns it off if it's on. So I made a switch. Oh, let's show it off right here. I made a switch in 60 and I just call it EXP disabled. So if the experience disabled switch is off, we will get experience. If the disabled, uh, the EXP disabled switch is on, then we will not get experience. All right, let's go into our game now and let's test this out. We've made the script change that we wanted to make, but let's see it in action, shall we? I'm running the game now and it's processing and compiling all those sweet changes, so any minute now we'll get in there. Okay. So, just for sanity's sake, once more, let's beat up this Blissey. I'm gonna turn on my speed. There we go. I'm gonna beat you up real fast, Blissey. Don't worry. It's just to showcase an experience change. It's it's it's, it's good, Blissey. All right, I've defeated the Blissey, and I gained 151 experience. Nice. So if we look at our Gyarados, you'll see that it's 1,425 away from the next level. Cool. Let's turn our experience off now. EXP gain disabled. So now we will not be able to gain experience from beating up this Chansey. This Blissey, I mean to say. <laughs> Sorry, it's got the Chansey overworld sprite. It keeps on confusing me. All right. Let's beat up this Blissey now. Turn it back to normal speed. Okay. Well, did you see that? We just didn't gain any experience. Right now, with Switch 60 set to on, we're not gaining any experience beating up anything. Like, uh, let's fight Brock now. Alright, Brock. We've disabled all the experience. You wanna fight me? Let's fight. Critical hit, too. Suck on that. So Geodude has been KO'd. Nice. And look at that, no experience still. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll beat up Rocky. I'll just beat up the rest of his team to prove a point. Look at that, it's a shiny Onyx. That's kind of cool. All right, Rocky has fainted. And once again, no experience. Suck on that, Brock. And then he's gonna give me a badge and stuff. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Brock. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, let's go look at our Gyarados once more. And once you know it, he still is 1,425 to the next level. So it looks like our switch that disabled experience is working. Now... Let's go and enable our experience once more. And let's beat up Blissey once again. Sorry, Blissey. I gotta do it to prove a point. You give so much experience. <laughs> Alright, Blissey has been defeated. And now we just gained 151 EXP points again. Heck yeah! So we've successfully created a switch that allows us to toggle experience gain on and off. We could then do the same thing if we wanted to boost experience gain. Say you have a map where you go there and it's a training map and everybody gives you you can go to the attack room and when you're in the attack room everybody gives you you know like 30 attack evs when you're in the health room everybody gives you 30 health evs and when you're there you also gain boosted experience so let's showcase how we could do that now what we could do is really just copy this bit of code here go on down and instead of switch 60 let's make this switch 61 and instead of an if let's make this else if so the way that this will work is if disabled experience is on, then it'll use this bit of code here. But if it's not on, then we'll move on to the next code or the next chunk in this conditional. So if 61 is set to true, the base experience instead will be 1000. That's incredible. You know what? Just to prove a point, let's make it 2000. Let's have a ton of experience from beating this Blissey. And then let's also give ourselves 50 health EVs from defeating the Blissey. That is fantastic, right? Now let's make a new event so we can toggle that on and off. We'll call, we'll make it a tree that's like one of these little berries. Cool. So instead of manipulating switch 60, let's make this switch 61. And we'll call this EXP boost mode. <laughs> We're going to gain a ton of experience now. So if EXP boost mode is on, um, really quick, I'm going to set this. If it's on, then when you talk to it, It'll say, turning EXP boost mode off. So this will be a little bit compu uh, confusing and perplexing, but uh, I'll explain it all once I'm done here. So EXP boost mode set to off. Okay. Otherwise, it'll say, turning EXP boost mode on. And then we will make this switch 61. Okay, cool. So the way that this works is when you talk to this little berry tree here, it checks to see if you are EXP boost mode is on or if it's off. If EXP boost mode is on, then talking to it will turn it off. 
Otherwise, if EXP boost mode is off, talking to it will turn EXP boost mode on. Okay, now let's try this in our game, shall we? We've manipulated the scripts a little bit more, and I would like to see it working. So, let's interact with this. EXP boost mode is on. All right, now let's fight our Blissey. I'm gonna enable my speed up mode again. So Blissey's base experience now should be 2000, and we should gain 30, or 50 actually, health EVs from defeating it. So let's see how much experience we get now. 494, holy crap. Wow, and my Gyarados just gained three health because I gained so many health EVs. Look at that. We just gained a ton of experience from that Blissey. Now, let's check this out. EXP gain is now disabled. What happens when they are both on? Well, let me really quick go into the debug menu and show you that in, they are in fact both on. Go to switches, and let's scroll all the way down to switch 60 and 61. There they are. So EXP disabled is on, and EXP boost mode is on. The way that it works is whatever is on top of the script takes precedence. So. I'm gonna beat up this Blissey once again. If they're both on, it's gonna prioritize EXP being disabled. Because the way that's the way that the conditional works in the code. Bada boom, we just didn't gain any experience there. So, make sure that if you ever put this in your game that you don't ever toggle them both on, otherwise you might end up confusing yourself and or getting unwanted results. So yeah, we could do this with a whole multitude of switches. We could make switch 62 and 63 and 64 where we're gaining different levels of experience, gaining different amount of EVs. It's pretty awesome. And then once all the switches are off, then it'll work as normal, where the base experience and EV yield are working as normal as well. So, there is one more thing I wanted to talk about before I wrap this tutorial up. Let's attach this logic to a trainer battle. The way that you could do it is you could have the switch to disable experience be toggled on and off before the battle, but it's also possible to have the toggles occur within the event. So what I have here is the Gym Leader Brock event. I just really stole it from the uh, Sedolan City Gym here. I just picked him up and plopped him into our uh, map here. So what we could do at the very start is insert control switches, and let's turn EXP disabled on. And then at the very end, after you beat him, after the battle, we could turn EXP disabled off. So let's fight him and let's test it in game. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna enable my speed up mode once again, once the game gets going. All right, and just to prove that I'm still getting experience, I'm gonna beat up this Blissey once more. I'm sorry, Blissey, but uh, you poor soul. All right, 151 experience points, cool. Right now, we are gaining experience from battles. Now let's battle Brock. Look at him, he's a pretty cool guy. All right, so let's beat up this friggin' Geodude. And now, we just didn't get any experience. All right, time to beat up Rocky. All right, Rocky, suck on this surf. <laughs> All right, Rocky's been defeated. And once again, I didn't gain any experience. And then the event will play out as normal. He gives me his TM and everything. Cool. So, 1425, there we go. I didn't gain any experience from that Brock battle. And now, let's beat up Blissey once again, <laughs> because this is how we'll showcase that the experience came back. All right, and there it is. We just gained experience again. So if you want to have specific trainers that you can fight that will uh, like have the EXP disabled, you can do that. If you want there to be one specific trainer who has boost mode, you can do that as well. What you could do is make it so that way um, there's a guy in a house, and when you talk to him to fight him, you have the conditional switch, or the control switch, above and below the trainer battle conditional branch. And you could say, like, hey, when you fight me, you get 10 times experience. And then you fight him, and then bada boom, you get 10 times experience. Or rather, like, you could give everybody 2,000 base experience. It's crazy. It's awesome. And I love it. There is one downside, though, to this. This does not really work with the way that um, trainers are typically set up. Typically with trainers, you have a lot of their details set up in the comments up above, and then you do the PB trainer intro and the notice player, and then they do the conditional branch. For whatever reason, this does not work with these types of trainers. What you could do is do the control switch, so EXP disabled is on, and then at the end, you could do the control switch, that way EXP disabled is off, and this really won't work with this type of trainer. I'll showcase it working in-game, or rather, I'll showcase it not working in-game, and then we can end up, uh, end up wrap up this video gosh okay let's fight this guy now we've just manipulated the event so that way he shouldn't give us experience anymore 
But uh, let's fight him. All right, youngster Ben, with your Rattata. You want to fight? You think you're so cool? You are pretty cool. All right, let's surf on him. <laughs> oh, he's done so. All right, so I shouldn't get experience. Ah, but I just gained experience. I just gained 91. Oh, he's gonna send out an Ekans now, huh? He's gonna intimidate me even further, huh? How dare you? All right, and there we go, 103 experience. So, for whatever reason, don't try this method with standard trainer battles like that. If It works perfectly fine for dudes who are just standing still like Brock here, that have their own conditional branch here, but these other trainers, this, this one, it just doesn't work. Anyway, I hope that you found this episode helpful, and I hope that you start manipulating the scripts in your own game to potentially even set up training areas. I think that'd be really cool if there was some sort of training complex you could go to, and there's an attack room, and a defense room, and like a speed room, and while you're in those rooms, you gain bonus EVs, you know, like, this one's health, you know, this one's attack. Once again, I'm gonna link this in the description, um, look into manipulating the EV values this way, the first one's attack, second one's defense, but yeah, um, you can take this script example from the tutorial and hopefully use it to make your own game awesome. So yeah, hopefully you found this episode useful. Hopefully when you make your game, you don't <laughs> keep the experience turned off the whole time. But hey, I mean, if you're into that. Anyway, thank you so much once again for watching. Uh, be sure to follow me on those social links in the description. And until next time, I hope that you all have a good one.